you remember um, what your first ever job was? Baling hay. Really? That's the first thing I was paid to do. In Ohio? In Ohio. Wow. First, I went and opened a bank account. For just for baling hay? Wow. I mean, got paid for a day's wages. Mm -hmm. First money I'd ever had somebody put in my hand. You know, wow. I didn't have to fill out a tax form, but I went and put that money in the bank. That's great. Because my, my folks <laughs> suggested I do that. So you were just, you were local family friends? Yeah. Just like, hey, yeah. want to come bale some hay? Yep. Cool. They're like, we need somebody, we need some labor for the day. And I'm like, it worked all day and made a decent wage. There you go. Like, That's I the made, way to do it. I made, I made made 50 bucks I put it in the bank. I was like... Okay. I mean, at least you opened yeah. a bank account Seriously, for it. yeah. I mean, I, up till then, I was like, you know, whatever, uh, what do you call it? You know, when you get a... Uh, stipend from your parents so it's oh yeah yeah just yeah. like a, uh i can't think of it now either. yeah oh well it'll, but yeah. it'll pop into my brain right <laughs> halfway through all right um when did you realize that you had a unique and prominent voice mm. well you know i guess there's people that said oh you've got a you know radio voice or right whatever. right i never really um um uh, pursued it you know mm -hmm. that well I'd, and then i'd heard from a couple of people that you really couldn't make a living mm -hmm. in radio so i was like i'm not going down that avenue mm -hmm. although it seemed enticing you know because right. be you know named a, you know a voice on a uh -huh. recognizable voice or whatever but the first um time that anybody really sought me out and said you might have something here mm -hmm. was when i was traveling with the regeneration we traveled all over the country. That was your singing group? Correct. Okay. In the 70s and 80s, which okay. kind of dates me. But uh, mm. we were up in the middle part of Wisconsin. Okay. And uh, we stayed in homes, mostly in our travels. We traveled over 100,000 miles a year and, um, you know, sang over 500 concerts a year. That's crazy. You figure it out. You do the math. Right. And uh, so we're doing service clubs and churches and whatever. But we were, we were sponsored in in the central part of Wisconsin by a Christian radio station. Hmm. And I drove the truck, the large uh, semi truck that we had for the... So they just kind of hosted you and... And, and so our, we had three cars and two trucks. And okay. I, I was in the bigger truck. And so whatever host home could take the truck right. to their place. Right. And a lot of times we'd ha end up leaving at the church and I'd ride home with the people. But this was happened to be the station manager of the station that was sponsoring our concert. Right, that's really cool. And I was staying at his home. And uh, I mean, this is a lot of years ago, Alex. Mm -hmm. And I remember his...